Hello, so we are back and this time we have a customer job. This is a nice laptop, it's an Asus Vivo Book. Nice, yeah? Okay. What this is doing, the customer is saying laptop won't turn on. Charge or charge like show when plugged in. Okay, so that's all what we know about this laptop. Let's plug the charger and try to figure out what is the problem yeah so plug in the charger five volts so here is non negotiating the voltage mm -hmm. five volts no so basically it's not charging right i mean we have only two ports yeah, 5 volts, 5 volts, okay let's open the laptop, the laptop doesn't have screws, I have one open, I don't know what is inside, okay, so the laptop is open, this is a nice board, we can see the PD controllers here, huh? Let's check uh, to see what's going on inside, yeah? We have the multimeter. Let's see the battery. The battery has 15.2. So the battery is charged, actually. The main power rail. Main power rail, here is zero. 15.2. So everything looks fine here. Let's unplug the battery. Good, we don't have a BIOS battery, no. Let's plug the charger. Four volts, 400 milliamps, okay. Four volts, 4.9 actually, yeah. It's 4.9. And we have 1.5 domain power rail. Let's take and check a little bit of board. Let's see. I mean, okay, the main power rail is not shorted, but what about the rest of the board? This one is good. Good, 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 good. 48 ohms looks good. Same. Hundred fifty ohms. Zero ohms. Zero ohms doesn't look good. What do you think? Here is good. Zero ohms. Zero ohms doesn't look good. Here is good. Zero ohms again. So we have three coils with zero ohms. Huh? So what do you think about that? You know, I still don't understand how you can have three coils, yeah? So this one, with this one, and with this one. How you can have three coils shorted, all three shorted to ground? I mean, I see like one. No, I don't think I ever seen like two power supplies on a laptop to be shorted, but this one has three power supply shorted. I mean, this looks so bad, you know? Okay, let's make some, uh, you know, so, so let's bring some light on this weird pair. Uh, I will come with the power supply, I will lower the voltage, yeah, like 0 0.8, little bit, little bit of current. Okay, and it's taking 1.5 amps because that's the limit, 1.5 amps, which is quite low. So we have zero point uh, we have zero point three volts, and here we have zero point eight, and here we have zero point five. Okay, so here we have the lowest possible resistance. Yeah, so I'll raise the current to three amps. Yeah, three amps. It's about right. 
Yes, yeah, so he's taking three arms. And what is taking what is getting hot? Nothing. Huh? You know what is getting hot? Hmm? You know what? I believe it's the CPU. So uh, okay, let's check the next one. So the next one is this one, yeah. This one is taking only one one point seven amps. So one point seven amps, and same the CPU. Okay. What about this one? This one taking two point two amps. And okay, when this one is kind of clear we have a chip which is taking this current okay so you can see the chip actually is taking the current the chip usually is not supposed to take that kind of current let's have a look together okay so this is a power supply uh, let me come with the power supply on the output here here is not short. This is the input. Okay, this is the input. Uh, I mean, this capacitor was looking uh, dodgy, but this is the input and it's not shorted. And the output is shorted and this chip is shorted. Let's remove that chip quickly. I believe this is a sealer G AW. Okay, so we remove the chip. Let's leave the chip there. Let's check for short again. So with the multimeter. like 4 ohms, 3 ohms you have any idea why we have 3 shorted power supplies and where those power supplies are meeting together where? they have a common point Yeah. so all 3 power rails they are com coming to something and they are meeting together there inside of the CPU Yeah. so all 3 power supplies Okay, they are supposed to supply power to the CPU, but obviously it's shorted. Like the CPU, is, this is this one is is bad. I never seen a CPU like this. I mean, let's take the heatsink and uh, come again with the current and see what's going on on the CPU. good so first let's come with the current yeah the board is hot because you removed that chip yeah that's not important let's come with the current first on this coil it's taking two point something amps and uh what is that the the, the chipset yeah the chipset you can see the chipset yeah let me raise the current just to see it better yeah so we have four amps, and that's the chipset. You can see it, yeah. Now I'm taking the power. Now I'm, I'm coming with the power. Yeah, that's the chipset. Now on the second power supply is this one, yeah. Uh, power on, off, on, off. Good. And the third one. The one which we remove the chip, but don't get confused. The chip it is burned. Yeah, so it doesn't matter if the we have a shorted uh, PCH here, but that chip is burned. Let's see in here, on. Oh, wait, it's not taking power anymore. Uh, it's taking like 20 milliamps. 
Okay, so this one, this one is just a coincidence. Actually, even this power supply is, is gone. This one is just a coincidence. But still, doesn't look good, like 4.6 ohms. Doesn't look good. I don't know what it is. Probably it's the 3.3. Probably is the 3.3. 3.3. Yeah, most likely. Can be the 3.3. So here we have the CPU. We have the V core, yeah? This, is, let's say, probably this one is the boosting coil. This one probably is the is the 1.05 volts for the PCH. And this one can be the 3.3. But what about this one? I have no idea. That one, I, I'm, I have no idea how that one is going to the PCH. Can be one volt. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you have the, 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 the you have the voltage for the for the chipset, and then you have the voltage for the graphics inside of the chipset, the Intel uh, the Intel graphics. Yeah. I'm really sorry. So based on the fact, this one shorted. This one shorted 1.6 amps, hmm. like partial shorted, but still bad. Uh, power on, yeah, you can see the corner of the PCH, yeah. And this one, yeah, about same place. That's how the power, this, those power rails are meeting there, exactly on that corner. And this one, this one, I don't know, looks good, but the, the chip is burnt, yeah, this chip is burnt. Okay, I suppose this video, it will go on my fail collection. I mean, I swear, I, ha I have more, more videos with fail collections. More video for fail collections compared with, uh, you know, the video with successful repairs. Strange, yeah? <laughs> Strange, that say a lot about the, you know, about the person fixing the stuff, yeah? <laughs> Yeah, sadly, it's nothing what we can do. This CPU is dead. Dead, dead. Yeah? I mean, <laughs> I don't know if i seen, like, before. i seen on the GPU. On the GPU, yeah, i seen the VRAM power supplies to be shorted with the, with the GPU vCore. But I haven't seen on the, on the chipset. Yeah. Anyway, I'll put it all back together. Uh, I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.